everyone, Delightful Dolls here. Quickly before we get started, the shouts for today go to The Doll Life, Laura Gaming123, Get Sebel Tapia, and everyone who commented ideas for this video. But remember, if you like shout out, all you have to do is comment something nice in my video. So today I'm gonna be giving this doll makeover based on all of your guys' requests. Thank you so much for requesting everything. Also, you might notice I kind of hurt my hand here, so just try to ignore that. So anyways, let's get started with the makeover. So first, I'm just gonna cut off her earrings because we won't need those. And then I just use the end of my pencil to poke the excess into her head. And then we're gonna give her hair a hot water rinse so that it's all smooth and untangled. Then I combed it through nicely. And since Madison Youngblood and um, Carol Anderson both wanted shorter hair, I'm going to cut it short. I did end up cutting it even shorter later, but for now I just kind of cut it at a shoulder length. And I'm gonna blow dry it next, but first I'm gonna put on this fluffy elastic so that the hair kind of stays in place. And I'm using a fluffy one so it doesn't damage the hair. Then I'm using my blow dry dryer on, a, on the lowest setting and I'm gonna blow dry the hair. Of course you can let it air dry, but personally I'm pretty impatient and it's kind of nice just to have it dry the sooner the better. This is what it looks like once it's all dry and I think it's already looking really good. So now we're gonna get on with the coloring process. So now I'm covering the doll's face with tape so it doesn't get damaged when we color the doll's hair. So I'm gonna be coloring the doll's hair bright red like Carol Anderson requested. And I actually have a red and an orange here. They look the same on camera, but they are different. And basically I'm just going to start coloring in the hair. This took forever, so I didn't obviously get it all on camera. Um, but yeah, I just kind of went back and forth using the red and the orange. So this is what it looked like. As you can guys, as you can see, I tried to color every single strand. So you guys can definitely do this, but keep in mind, it's gonna take you a lifetime. So then I started to peel off the tape because we don't need it on anymore. And giving her hair another hot water rinse. And this step is very important because it takes out all the excess color that might otherwise transfer to your doll. And then this is when I decided that I should cut the hair a little bit shorter still because it's not really considered any sort of a bob. So I cut it a little bit more so it looked a little bit shorter, probably more like what they wanted. And then I blow dry the hair once again on a low setting. Then I started to braid the hair because Ken and Ray requested wavy hair. So when you put in braids and um, rinse under hot water, it'll become wavy. So that's what I did. I didn't get all the braids on camera because it's really hard to braid short hair like this. But this is what it looks like all braided and then I rinsed it under some hot water. I didn't get the footage of me rinsing it under hot water because I think you guys get the idea by now. And then I blow dried it with the braids still in. Once everything was blow dried, I took out the braids carefully. and then lightly combed through the hair. So now it has a bit of a wavy look to it. And next, I'm gonna be giving her a mini bun on the top of her hair because Kylie Rose, the cloud cow, requested a bun hairstyle. So I'm just giving her a small bun on top of her head. And I actually showed how to make this hairstyle in my six cute Barbie doll hairstyles video as well, if you wanna check that out. And next, a little bit of everything requested a butterfly tattoo. So I was gonna be all fancy and use my nail stamping uh, techniques because uh, I had a little butterfly um, stamping plate on, on there, but it just wasn't working. For some reason, I couldn't pick up the image. I've done lots of nail stamping and for some reason, this butterfly just was not cooperating. I even tried a different color and I did pick up, but once I put it onto the doll's arm, it wasn't working. So I think overall the plastic of the doll and the stamper, uh, sorry, and the plate for some reason wasn't working. So I kind of gave up on that idea, unfortunately. So instead, she also said that I could do a unicorn tattoo. So I just kind of found these little nail stickers that looked like unicorn wings, and I just put that onto her shoulder instead. And 
uh, Caleb Le Leviel, Dana Smith, and um, Create Fabulous for Dolls all requested pink nail polish, so that is exactly what I did. And now we're going to get on with the facial features. I'm starting with green eyes like Mac Vlogs requested. I know she already had green eyes, but I kind of wanted to redo them because I didn't really like how they looked. Then Create Fabulous for Dolls requested pink eyeshadow, so I just put a little thin layer of pink nail polish on her eyelid. And Dana Smith requested red lipstick, so I put on some red lipstick or red nail polish, and I think it went nicely with the hair. I also did some winged eyeliner like Delicious Dolls and Toys requested. And I filled back in the pupils. And this is what she was looking like. I always think it looks nice when you uh, repaint your doll's face. But um, Delicious Dolls and Toys also requested eyelashes, so I put on my famous paper eyelashes. Next, she. Delicious Dolls and Toys also requested a choker, so I just made a choker using nail polish and paper. And then I glued that around her neck. So now we're going to work onto the outfit, so we're going to go get her changed. So this is her back in her new outfit, and I really love how she looks in this. It is like a sporty outfit like how Audrey Leff requested. She has this little tied top um, and some stretchy pants. I also gave her some sneakers like how Laura Gaming123 and a little bit of everything requested. And I would have given her Barbie sneakers except for some reason her feet are extra large. So I used Project MC Swear uh, shoes instead. So that worked out good. Now, I do feel bad because the doll life requested a whole outfit idea, and I didn't really follow any of her ideas. So instead, I made the gold sunglasses that she requested um, instead, and I just painted some purple sunglasses, white and gold. And I think they look really good on her. And now we're going to give her a little ankle bracelet like how BFC Ink Club requested. And I really like this idea. I wouldn't have thought about it myself, and I think it looks really good on her ankle. And next, we're going to give her a pink bag like how Amid Life Logs requested. Unfortunately, it like couldn't stay on her shoulder until finally I balanced it somewhat. And lastly, a little bit of everything requested some uh, earbuds. And I just put them into her ears because they were already pierced. And if you want to see how to make these earbuds, I made a separate video for that as well. So overall, I love how she turned out. And thank you guys so much for all of your requests. And I really love how she has a sporty look because it's different than all of my other custom dolls. I also love her red hair and her bun and everything about her. Also, if you guys check out the poll in the top right corner, I will have four name ideas that you guys think best suit her. So make sure to let me know. Also, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!